takes on average to climb El Capitan now. Think about that. On your left, we're approaching El Capitan Meadow. Again, there's cathedral, Middle Cathedral Rock, another famous uh, hiking location, or climbing location. People like to come out to the meadow here. They like to just sit and look at the climbers going up, or they might like to take pictures or do painting or sketches, all those kinds of things. So, any guesses on how long it takes to get to the top of El Capitan? Two days. Two days. Two days. Did I hear three? Okay, two days. You in the back, yes. Four days? All right. Five days. Oh, five hours, okay. All right, well, all right, so, let me start with the fastest anybody's ever gone up that thing. Remember I mentioned Alex Honnold? Me and a friend, Hans Florin. They did it uh, just under two and a half hours. Wow. They started down, they, it was a tandem approach. They were roped off, but they would just kind of leapfrog each other. And they made their way up to the top in just under two and a half hours. That is a record. On average, though, it takes three to five days to get to the top. So those were some very good guesses. Good job. The, uh, but if you think about it, three to five days to make that climb, what do you think you have to take with you? Yeah, food and water. It is, though, you, gotta be, you can't take everything with you because you're trying to climb that thing. Right, right? So you got to keep your weight down. So a climber generally would take one gallon of water per day. That's over eight pounds. That's about as much as they're wanting to carry. They also have to take all their food. Okay, what about using the bathroom? <laughs> there's no yeah, there's no part of John's up there, so they have to uh, take along their own means of uh, accommodating that. Where do they sleep at do night? Switch, Jake? Do you want to switch? Do you want to sit on the outside? <laughs> well, you guys have been in, have you been in bathrooms where they have the baby changing stations, where the little shelf drops down? Okay, so imagine something called what we call a portal ledge. You attach it to the vertical face. The little ledge comes down. It's a bit, big, bit bigger than a baby changing station, but you lay down in that for the night and sleep. Do you think you strap yourself in? Oh yeah. Yeah, you're smart. How, how much would that? How much of a bummer would 